And we continue to follow a developing story. Philadelphia police say a gunman wearing a bulletproof vest went on a shooting rampage last night in King Sessing, killing five people and injuring two children. That suspect is now in custody. Action News reporter Brianna Smith has been following the investigation. She's live in King Sessing with an update on this outburst of violence that happened on the eve of the 4th of July. Brianna, what are you learning? Yes, it's a sad day for this community. As they say, state and local leaders walked throughout the neighborhood where all of that violence unfolded, and they started here on South 56th Street, and their goal is to send a message of hope and healing to the community. Now, this all comes after five people were killed and two children ages 2 and 13 were injured in the shooting Monday night. Police were initially called to the area of South 56th in Chester for a shooting around 8.30. Police are reviewing this video, believed to be the suspect, firing on South 56th Street near Independence Charter School West. Now, police say at least 50 shots were fired. Officers say they chased after the 40-year-old suspect and arrested him on Fraser Street. Police say the man was wearing a bulletproof vest and had an AR-style rifle. Hours later, police responded to the fifth victim. They say a man returned home and found his 31-year-old son dead in the living room with several gunshot wounds. Now, we spoke to one resident who says he saw the violence unfold and state representatives who are trying to prevent it from happening again. What you saw uh, last night is why these uh, weapons don't need to be in the hands of everyday citizens and why we continue to fight in Harrisburg uh, to remove them from our communities. You have people just walking, enjoying their lives, and these type of, 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 of weapons has now altered many families in this community. I heard a young man screaming like, help, 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 please help. There's people walking by him. So I, I helped him out, and as, as I helped him out, I saw another person down the street, discovered them, and helped him out, and one more person. And the state representatives say they're working hard to stop this violence. They're in budget talks in Harrisburg in hopes of sending more money to violence prevention programs and schools, as well as changing gun laws. Now, as for the shooting, the motive is still unclear, and whether the shooter, who police say is Kim Brady Carricker, if he has any connection to the victims. Now, we'll have more information at 4 after we speak to police. In concessing, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News.